My name is Lisa Laduceur, and I'm sitting on the patio of the Rivoli, which looks like a restaurant, but once upon a time was the epicenter for Toronto goth kids uh, here on Queen West. Uh, this strip had everything, punk rock and world music and new wave and all the different subgenres. But for goth and industrial music in the early 90s, it was the back bar at the Rivoli. And there are probably a couple of reasons for that. They had a restaurant license, so you could get in if you were underage. They also had a back door that you could get in if you had no money. <laughs> and possibly the most important thing was they had a bartender in the back, Mitch Kroll, uh, from the band Masochistic Religion. And Mitch was like seriously uber goth as fuck, right? He had like super long black hair and he wore so many crucifixes you could hear him coming like a block away and his band would play shows here that had like uh, tons of fog and um, he would read Baudelaire and he would rip pages from the Bible and things. So uh, it was kind of cool for goth kids to come and hang out and watch masochistic religion shows and all the other bands uh, that got booked here too, bands like Ray's Obsession and April March Death and Horror Incorporated, uh, all the local bands and other bands from out of town like Lycia and the groups that were on Project Records, uh, Legendary Pink Dots played here I know, and uh, we used to just come and, and hang out and uh, a good memory for me would be the launch for my zine. I had started doing a goth fanzine called The Ninth Wave and we had a party here and Thrive played, Ray's Obsession played, I think Chains of Eden played and we just sort of celebrated gothdom at the back of the Rivoli. And uh, they still have great pad thai here, but um, it's not as goth as it used to be, sad to say.